uh, we have just uh, gotten out of Cloudcroft, New Mexico, and we are headed onto the what reservation are we in? Mescalero Apache Reservation. Obviously, Daisy's going crazy. Do you want any to say anything about this reservation? Uh, no. We're just going to do some scratching. Yep. Um, so if you if you don't think New Mexico has forests, the Bigfoot. This is this is you know you can tell the difference between this and like northeastern Oregon. high country Oregon. Yep. So this is where we're off to today. We'll let you know. We will let you know how things turn out. Yeah. This is kind of cool. Now, is this still BLM land, or is this BLM land still? Yeah, BLM land here. Right. It's private land over here. Okay, across the river. Next to this. Okay. Land. Okay. Where were the cow bones? Because uh, we went through that gate, so I'm not sure if that was not, you know, a barrier to BLM land. Mike said we go through BLM. Go we'll across the creek yeah. on his land. Oh, okay. And the forest is behind us up there. Oh, okay. This is cool. This is really neat. There's a tree that just is falling <laughs> down. Yeah. yeah. It's all warm. Juniper. Right after here, kind of when it, like in the creek, you took way high. I guess bloods through here pretty good. Oh, I yeah. Guess. Yeah. You can tell all the green grass here. Yeah. And I've seen it. That footprint is kind of pure. I've well, seen it in the edge of an ant bed, kind of. Okay, yeah, because that's where and, uh, the only place it looks like it'd be soft enough for it to be there. There's another ant hill. This is where it was, I think. Oh, the footprint? The the footprint or the nest or both? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is where the nest was? built in here and it all washed away. And how could it? Where did it go? If it was. Had a bunch of bones right here, and it was all built up like that tall. Huh. And you had to walk kind of over in here like this, and then it was kind of all right in here. And it, it was coned up. I mean, we could walk in it. Uh huh. Wow. Both sides. And I didn't really think about then to look and see if it was attached to the ground, because first I thought, well, it's just where the flood washed it all up. But the other the other guys had it stuck out like a sore thumb to them mm -hmm. several years ago when they looked at it. Mm -hmm. And when I looked at it, then I said, "Man, this is something built this." Huh? And uh, cool. Anna hey. May. What? Well, look how it's all still kind of bed down so here. This is where it was right here. Well, you can look and see where the grass is all still beat down here. Yeah. So my question is. Yeah, and down there. Yeah. It was all up, all the way back down to the. You have a picture to show. That way he's going right now. Yeah. Yeah, that's where the hole was. It was right here, but... So, a... so my question is, if it washed away, where did it go? I know. <laughs> you know, there would be a pile somewhere of the trees. The debris. Yeah, the debris still. Well... But they were all... Hey, Scott, do you want the dog on this? But have uh, Bigfoots moved branches and stuff like that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. They could have moved it, Wade. Yeah, they could have moved it. Or tore, or tore it down. And something kind of like that, but not, I mean, like the old branches uh -huh. that they used, but there's nothing like that. 
Okay. <laughs> yeah, it was, it, it, was, it was all built it was right put there. In there. Yeah. Look. Wait, look at this. What is this? Yeah, it went back in there and something like that, but that's not. Yeah, but look. What dirt? There's a gate. Mm-hmm. They know. couldn't have marked something with that? I don't know. Yeah, it looks like it flooded here, Wade. Yeah, because like there's a game trail right there. Something going up through there, though. Yeah. Look, there's right. stuff back here, too. Uh -huh. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that's funky looking. Might make a good picture. Yeah. But there's a bunch of bones here before, too. A stack of them. They weren't just scattered. A stack of they bones. Stacked up. So. Do you have the photos of those? Huh. At least that tall. Yeah. And the whole area here was a big cone. Mm hmm. That went from probably here. In fact, at first I couldn't even tell what it was because I had to come into the side of it, like this angle, and then it was just open. I mean, real open. No, no, no branches really sticking down in it. Really. Uh, that's what the other guy noticed that it was really manicured. Manicured on the inside, yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, I know the grass is still still beat down really, really well here. Yeah. Three quarters way there and comes running back up to Steve. Said it's huge and hairy and stinks like you would believe. Yeah. Let's get the heck out of here. And uh, Steve said, Oh no. He said, So he said, I go to walking back there. I walk back there and this thing stands up. He said, It's every bit of eight foot tall. His legs are like that huge. His arms are huge. I said, I can't see his face real good. But I guess he just froze back there like a quail in the bush. Real, you know, nervous and wouldn't move because he got surprised. So he stood up and he said three steps and he was off the whole location. Yep. And uh, said, then we went back and we told everybody we'd seen a Bigfoot. He said, everybody started to rest and say, oh yeah, sure. So they, two, two days later, they decided they'd go, go back out there and find some footprints. And uh, it rained and snowed a bunch. And he said, we couldn't find no footprints. But he said, and, at first, and when he was telling me the story, I said, well, was it a bear? And he said, it wasn't no bear. <laughs>